remember sitting on the couch in the living room learning to read books word by word with my mom when I was in preschool. I was eager to learn everything that I could, and I realized in college that books would hold the key to unlock the door of being an awesome storyteller. I believe that books have the power to shape us into the storytellers we are inside our hearts. I remember listening to my Grandma Jo read aloud from Heidi to my brother and I on sunny Missouri afternoons. The way the words of the story resonated in my heart sent my carefree childhood mind into the building blocks and colors of imagination. I would picture the characters speaking to each other, the scenery, and every detail as I followed the carefully illustrated drama of Gone with the Wind in my adolescence. My elementary school teachers, Miss Gorecki, Miss Bild, and Mrs. Mayrose always made time to read a portion of a novel aloud to their classroom at the end of the day. I looked forward to capturing the action and feeling connected to the characters' emotions and trials in the story. Messages jumped from the page by the delivery of the words published with care inside the bound covers of the book. I was the girl who found sanctuary snuggled in between the shelves of my school or local library. My mother would chastise me frequently for bringing home a heavy backpack full of them. I discovered how fiction books allowed the mind to escape momentarily from reality into another world crafted by the author. I wanted to be able to spin tales and bring alternate worlds to life from the printed words on the page, like in Cornelia Funk's Ink Heart and The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. The use of language opened my eyes to the plethora of possibilities when knowledge was incorporated into the creation of their books. I continued to write in high school for the news magazine Student Prints. I found that the storytelling in books infused into how I crafted my articles. I loved recording people's stories and then playing with words to find the best path to share it with the curious readers. I believe the style of intelligent abstract logic of Dr. Seuss's Inside, Outside, Upside, Down helped my adult college self to believe in my dreams and who I am. Because of When Dixie by Kate DiCamillo connected the oral storytelling of books through a community of people discussing complex emotions such as joy and sadness over a litmus lozenge. The uncanny, unique problem-solving schematics of the Junie B. Jones series by Barbara Park, Nancy Drew series by Carolyn Keene, and Kate Thompson's Eloise recapitulated that any problem can be solved, no matter how daunting or impossible it may seem. The storytelling in these books made me into the writer I am today. This, I believe.